So uh, people often ask, can synesthesia be acquired by, by regular people who don't have it? And my standard answer to that is no, you can't train yourself to have synesthesia. Although, of course, you could train yourself to think of the letter A as being red and so on, but you wouldn't literally see um, the, the letter A as being red if you, if you were to just uh, learn to associate them together. Having said that, there are some instances in which synesthesia can be acquired, but it isn't normally via training. It's normally as a result of losing a sense. So, for example, if you go blind, it's quite common for blind people to say, I'm actually starting to see things, and these are like hallucinations that blind people have when their eyesight deteriorates. But some of these hallucinations are often triggered by, say, sounds or maybe touch. And for me, that is a form of synesthesia because it's something that is being triggered by something else. Uh, and this can happen within a matter of days. And this is very interesting because it suggests that synesthesia can be acquired by using pre-existing pathways in the brain that get unmasked or disinhibited uh, as a result of a lack of visual input. So maybe there are latent connections between, say, hearing and vision, maybe via the parietal lobes, and that these connections can be reinforced as a result of going blind, uh, partly as, as a result of um, reducing inhibition between these regions, but maybe over a longer duration as a result of changing the actual weights, the synaptic connectivity between them. So some, some people, when they go blind, might say, yes, when I listen to music, I see flashes of light in my periphery, but it's taken a whole year of being blind before this happens. And this suggests a kind of a slower restructuring of the multi-sensory pathways in the brain. When one of the senses is deprived, there are changes in the brain as a result of plasticity that, that can rewire one sense to another. Uh, so, for example, if you were to blindfold people for several days, you find that their visual cortex starts to respond to sounds. Uh, and, in fact, uh, you can, uh, some of these people start to actually ex have unusual experiences that they see, uh, you know, flashes of light when they listen to sounds. Or in this blindfolding study done by Pascal Leone, what, what he found was that some people found it hard to walk around so they were hallucinating objects in front of them that weren't really there and they had to convince themselves that they could actually walk through all these uh, illusory objects. So again, that's not necessarily strictly synesthesia, but it illustrates the point that there are these multisensory pathways and the weightings can change uh, between uh, different areas as a result of the, these plastic um, changes.